Okay, here we go. We got Oakland legend Lil D, aka Daryl Reed, in the building. What's happening, man? It's my pleasure to do this interview. Absolutely, man. You know, someone who grew up in the Bay, um, Lil D is a name that I've always heard. You know, growing up, and uh, you know, it's amazing we're finally getting to sit down together after you being incarcerated for so long. Thank you so much for coming in. I, pre I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's go ahead and start in the very beginning. So you grew up in East Oakland. Yes, sir. Okay. So um, this was, I guess, the the early '80s, late '70s. Yes, the early, the early '80s, man. Yeah, the early '80s. Okay. So so you grew up in a time where crack hadn't quite hit yet. Yes. Absolutely. So describe to me what the environment was in Oakland before crack actually hit. Well, the environment in Oakland before the crack epidemic hit was um, was the heroin dealers pretty much and um, powder cocaine dealers and weed, and weed dealers before crack hit maybe in like 84, somewhere around then. But um, I myself didn't start indulging in crack until 1986. Okay, so, I mean, when you talk about, I mean, cocaine and heroin, but heroin in particular, that's really one of the worst drugs out there. You see people doing all types of really terrible things uh, for heroin. So, you know, were you seeing some of the, you know, some of the fallout from heroin junkies and so forth when you were a kid? Yes, I was, because um, my grandmother was staying in a 69th village. And at the time, it was when Felix Mitchell was the biggest drug, heroin drug kingpin at the time. And my mom's sister had a baby by Felix, which was Felix Wayne, which is my cousin. So at the time, Felix and them had a operation going on in, in Oakland. So I was exposed to that environment by spending a lot of time over at my grandmother's house in the projects, because she used to babysit me a lot because my dad and mom both worked. So that's why people think that Felix is my blood uncle, but I always try to explain to people he's not my blood uncle. I just spent a lot of time around him because I used to be with my cousin, Little Wayne, and I was a little older than Little Wayne, so I kind of looked out for Little Wayne. So therefore, we spent a lot of time with Felix so they would see us riding Rolls Royces and the limousines and all that. So the streets just took it upon themselves and started saying that Felix Mitchell was my uncle. Okay. So in actuality, he's not my uncle, and I've always tried to explain that, you know? Yeah, I mean, that was always the word was, okay, you know, Lil D was, was Felix's uncle, and, you know, that's why they were so close. But, you know, you guys were just very close. Yes. Okay. I'm glad we cleared that up. How old were you when Felix Mitchell kind of took you under his wing and started, you know, exposing you to that type of lifestyle, you know, and the Rolls Royces and the jewelry and giving you money and so forth? Like, man, 12 years old, you know, 12, 13 years old, man. And um, being in them Rolls Royces, man, and watching this fly guy with all these beautiful women, you know, he was like, uh, he was like Robin Hood to us, you know? And, um, you know, he had an influence on me because seeing that young, you get caught up in the visual, you know. And even though my parents tried to keep me away from that and shelter me, it was kind of impossible because I was spending so much time in the projects and seeing that. And then some, some of my uncles was a part of the mob at the time, which was my grandmother's sons. And those were my blood uncles. Okay, and you're talking about the Mob 6-9? Yes. Okay, and, and how big of a crew was Mob 6-9? It, 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 no, it was no crew like the 69 Mob, though. Like, um, you know, a lot of these guys, now that you hear saying the Mob, they got that from, from Felix Mitchell, from the 69 Mob, and the family, which was Mickey Moore. That's where this Mob talk come from. So now you got all these guys talking about they the mob, but they never really knew what that stood for. It was my other brother, you know? Mm. And that came from, from, from Felix and them during that time. And, you know, Felix and them used to watch um, 
the Untouchables and these different type of gangster movies with Al Capone and all them, and they took on this persona. You know, they um, you know, when they, when it was a problem and they jumped out their cars, they jumped out their cars, man, with machine guns. You know, it, it was for real though. So the older guys that I grew up around, you couldn't be soft growing up around these dudes because they was what you called real gangsters in the streets, you know? And so being around that at a young age and them explaining to me what the, what the rules was to the streets, I knew what the consequences were. And I knew that if you, if you jumped in the streets, that you had to be prepared for some of the violence and things that come with in the streets because now you got a lot of money involved, you know, at such a young age. Okay, so, so at that age, you're 12, 13 years old, what do you think was the worst amount of violence you actually witnessed yourself being around all that? Well, at that, at that age, they weren't going to allow me to see too much violence visually because of my age, and they were trying not to expose me to, to certain things, you know what I mean? But still, I got my ear open, and I can hear a certain conversation. And then the streets, the streets talk too, though. And the streets always talking and said that the 69th field, them was the guy that you didn't want to have no problems with. So that was already established, you know? Okay. And when you were like 12 or 13, how old was Felix Mitchell at that time? Um, man, Felix Mitchell was um, probably um, 20... Seven, twenty-eight, yeah, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. He was in his late twenties when I was at that age. Okay, so he was still a fairly young guy, you know, mid to late twenties, and he was controlling one of the biggest heroin empires. I mean, would you say on the West Coast? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Would you say he was one of the biggest in the whole in the whole United States at that point? I, at the, at that time. I would say, yeah, at that time, 